economy was in a tailspin. Everywhere we heard the painful cry of bankruptcy and layoff. But about the same time, an Austin man transplanted from West Texas took a deep breath, let out a yodel, and started attracting attention. On the porch tonight, our Jim Swift tells us that while the economy may be wailing, that has subsided, that yodeler still sails in the air. <laughs> Yodelin was born in Switzerland. At some point, it jumped on a boat along with about half the rest of Europe and set off for the new world. I'm a rolling stone from Texas. It came ashore quietly enough and climbed under the cover of darkness into a westbound wagon train. It surfaced briefly in Tennessee and one or two other long forgotten spots on an antique map. At long last, it came to rest and Don Walser. Cause if we're both from Texas, boys, let's bundle up our clothes and go. I started out, well, playing with a band. I started my first band when I was about 15 years old. We had a group out there in La Mesa called the Panhandle Playboys. <laughs> the Panhandle Playboys gave way to the Texas Plainsmen. La Mesa gave way to El Paso, El Paso to Austin. Walter music blossomed like flowers, a well-remembered tree. I know when I was a little fella, I would crawl up in a tree in the front yard, and you know, I was really kind of back when I did amongst some leaves and I'd sing, you know. And uh, when I waited to leave dark, I was ashamed to come out. <laughs> As Yodel, it's not something Walter says he can teach. 